Relational prayer begins with worship and wonder. Relational prayer begins with worship and wonder. Look at how Elijah prayed. Elijah said this, O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What's what's Elijah doing here? What he's doing for the nation of Israel is he's reminding them this is who God is, and this is the position he's supposed to be holding in our nation. Now, fast forward and look at the prayer that Jesus taught us. Jesus said it this way. He said, our what? Our Father. Our Father in heaven, may your what? Name be kept holy. Like Laura, she was up here earlier. Laura is my wife. That's that's who she is, and that's the position that she holds in my life, okay? That that says to everyone around me, it announces that, that she is taken, okay? Back off, she's mine, I'm hers, and that's who she is. So when you pray, when you begin your prayer, begin it with worship and wonder, because worship and wonder will remind you who God is and the position that he holds in your life life. That when you begin by saying, wow, God, I recognize your splendor, your majesty, your your authority. I recognize who you are, but I also recognize that you're my father. Why would Jesus use that word? It's because he wants our prayers to be relational. And I don't know who your earthly father is. You made a great father. You made a horrible father. But I want to tell you, your earthly, your, your heavenly father, he loves you. He cares about you. And he desires to be in relationship with you. And he, he wants to protect you. He wants to watch over you. And that's why prayer, relational prayer, needs to begin with worship and wonder.